everybody, and welcome back to Colin's Crazy Creatures. I like to meet Darth Maul, my tarantula. The species of the tarantula that Darth Maul is, is a very fast, bolty, and defensive species, so I'm not going to hold Maul or put it on the table. So what I'm going to do is transfer it into this bigger permanence enclosure and try and get shots during and after the transfer so you can admire Maul's glory. I named her Darth Maul because of the red and black hairs on the body. And if you don't know who Darth Maul is, Darth Maul is a Star Wars character from the prequel trilogy with red skin and lots of black tattoos. And Darth Maul is an actual nickname for the species. The scientific name is Solmapius Victori, while the common name is the Mexican half and half tarantula, and that is because the red and black hairs split about in the center. This species shows sexual dimorphism. Only the females will get the half and half, and they also have a greenish carapace on the thorax. The males get a little bit of red hair on the abdomen, and their legs get the greenish black coloration like on the thorax. This species was discovered in and is endemic to the moist forest of Veracruz, Mexico. And what makes this discovery so important is because we've only known about this species for under a decade. And the reason for that is because it's a very rare species in the wild and it's also very reclusive. But what also makes it very interesting is that it was the first arboreal species of tarantula ever discovered in Mexico. Unlike most neural tarantulas, Darth Maul does not have any urticating hairs, which are very itchy hairs that can be very irritating and are only found on New World tarantulas. And this is true for the entire genus of Salmopius. But to make up for that, the genus has developed a very toxic venom for any New World tarantula. But not much is really known about Salmopius victoriae's venom itself. Darth Maul is not fully grown, and will get about six and a half inches from toe to toe. But I must have to say that Darth Maul grows extremely fast. When he first got Maul in February 2021, Maul was a very small slim. And then, in April of 2021, Maul got outgrew the sling container and we moved Maul into the homemade enclosure for our boreal tarantula. Now it's March of 2022, and you just saw how big Maul is now. And Maul still get bigger. This enclosure is not finished. We have to add a bigger piece of cork bark and a small ATAT -AT because an ATAT -AT is a Star Wars reference. Like feeding most tarantulas, you're going to be feeding this species crickets, and you don't need any special lighting or lighting at all. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next month, Colin's Crazy Creatures.